All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 discussion video. In today's video, I wanted to take a look at Princess Leia and talk about the changes that were made to her in the last update, because I looked back and realized that I had planned to make this video when the update came out, but I never really got around to it. So I guess I just got distracted with other content, but I really wanted to make this video, so now we're gonna go through it. And the things I'm gonna be talking about in today's video are the ability changes, her new star cards, as well as how she handles in GA and Heroes versus villains since those changes have happened. Now, if you guys aren't aware, in one of the last updates, she did have changes to all three of her abilities. So we're gonna start off with that. Before I jump in though, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video and let me know down in the comment if you like the changes to Leia or if you dislike the changes to Leia. I'm sure most of you guys are gonna say yes that you do like the changes to her because honestly, she's a million times better than she was, but we're gonna go through all the little details and break it down right now. So with that said, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future Battlefront 2 videos. And now let's jump into the video. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is her ability changes. Now the first ability change was previously her flash grenade, which has now been changed to thermal detonators. Now the new ability does give her the ability to throw three thermal detonators in succession. And you guys will know this is a huge improvement from the flash grenade previously. The flash grenade before was pretty much useless. I mean, it gave you maybe a second or two where they couldn't lock onto you with lightsabers. But other than that, there wasn't really much point in using it. I found myself just using Leia's primary blaster before she got the update and that was her main way of wiping out enemies. It was pretty much the thing that did the most damage and was the most effective way to handle heroes and villains as well as infantry. So that's what I found myself doing. So I think the change to the thermal detonators is a huge improvement. However, I do think it can be a little bit buggy at times. Now I've tried it both with the two new star cards, which we'll mention in a minute and without them. And in both situations, I've found that sometimes the thermal detonators go into cooldown before you've actually thrown all three. So sometimes I was throwing one thermal detonator and then hitting the button to throw a second and a third and it said I couldn't and I had to wait for it to cool down. So there are some issues with that ability. It doesn't work 100%. I really hope they could fix this because being able to throw all three of them really quickly one after the other is key for a whole bunch of damage in both Heroes vs. Villains and Galactic Assault. And you can wipe out enemies really easy if you can spread those thermal detonators around in a short period of time. So a really good change to the ability. I really like the idea behind it. It's just it needs to be cleaned up a little bit to become more effective. The second ability change was the shield and her squad shield before, while yes, it was great for playing the objective, it didn't really have much other use. So if you guys used it and there was an enemy villain on you, you were pretty much going to die anyway. You could use it to place over an objective for your teammates, but that was about the only use it had. Since then, they have actually added the ability to heal inside the shield. So it does give you five ticks of health back for every second, but not only does it do this, but it also gives you the ability to start your health regeneration almost immediately. So one of the things that I've been doing is when I take damage, pop the shield and my health regen starts pretty much straight away instead of having that two second delay. So really helpful in situations when you start to take damage. And the third change that they made to Leia was that they actually buffed her middle ability where she pulls out the E11. I think the buff was really good. She absolutely slaughters with this ability now. And I find myself using this as often as possible instead of relying heavily on the primary blaster, which is what I was doing before. Four. So again, a really good change to the E11. Moving on from the abilities though, let's talk about the new star cards that came along with her ability change. Both of these star cards are for the thermal detonators. The first one is called Fearless, which basically increases the blast radius of the thermal detonators and Handy Device is the other one, which makes the cooldown be reduced for the thermal detonators as well. Now I wanna talk about Handy Device first, which reduces the cooldown. It's pretty much a pointless star card at this point, as long as it is still a buggy ability and isn't actually recharging after you've thrown all three when it's sending you into cooldown after just one or two uses. So I think if they clean that up, this star card could potentially make it into the rotation, but it's not in my star card list right now. As for Fearless with the blast radius increase, it can be pretty effective in Galactic Assault, but I wouldn't use it in Heroes vs. Villains. Again, still not quite making it into my lineup. I like to double stack on the E11 with reduced damage and being able to fire for longer. So if you guys want to know, those are the two main star cards that I actually use instead of using these two for the thermal detonator. Now, moving on, how does she handle in Galactic Assault since she's made these changes? Well, she pretty much slaughters infantry in all aspects of her game. The primary blaster was always really good at doing so, and if you guys use Laser Brain, the secondary could pretty much one-shot infantry with a secondary fire, but in terms of the new abilities, they absolutely slaughter. So the E11 buff melts infantry quicker than you could imagine. Even when up against reinforcements and things, it does a lot of damage, and if you can land headshots, you're going to be wiping them out quite quickly. So I think that's 
that's a great change. However, she does still struggle against Saber villains, which is understandable, most Blaster heroes do, and she also struggles against vehicles still. She doesn't have much in terms of defense against vehicles, although she can pop the shield, but you're still gonna take splash damage if you're near the edges. So I would avoid vehicles and Saber villains wherever possible and play around squad mates and friends when you can. These guys can back you up and you can pretty much retreat and pop the squad shield and regen some of your health if you need to do so. Now, that's pretty much my thoughts on Galactic Assault. How does she handle in Heroes vs. Villains? Well, again, like I said in Galactic Assault, she struggles against Saber villains. Stay away from them at all costs, but she is absolutely amazing if you play around teammates. You would have seen some clips that I've put up previously of Princess Leia in HVV, and I do tend to stick around my teammates very well and stay behind them if I can, and once they engage in a lightsaber duel with an enemy, that is when Leia is at her best. If you can throw detonators at their feet or pull out their E11 and just absolutely melt away at their stamina and land some clean headshots, you're going to do a lot of damage and do really well in Heroes vs. Villains as well. Not only can she be effective when played around squad mates, she can also be really good 1v1 against other blaster heroes. The likes of Captain Phasma, Iden, and Bosk, you can really do a lot of damage and more specifically with the E11, I'm swearing to you guys, this is the way to go. If you have that ability ready to use, absolutely use it because it does a ton of damage now and it's really really effective. So overall I think the changes to Princess Leia are great. She's much better in Galactic Assault and Heroes vs Villains. Obviously still struggles against enemy lightsaber villains which is understandable because she doesn't have any sort of knockdown effect but compared to where she was she's so much better now. On top of this the changes to her abilities are great. I would like to see the thermal detonator bug improved and fixed. If they can get on top of that I think she will be a really high tier hero and should be really effective in terms of those on the blaster roster but with all this said guys let me know what you think down in the comments this is just one person's opinion i think she's much better but in the sense that she still struggles against saber villains you guys let me know what you think as well anyways i am going to get out of here now i appreciate all of you guys tuning in today again be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always Powerful. You are no match for me.